Hello everybody, Jody Ann Johnson here with the 66th episode of Coffee with Jody. And as I was considering the theme for this month, I looked up anniversaries and special events in the month of February, and you, <laughs> the obvious of Valentine's Day, right? But it's also gonna be Super Bowl, it's gonna be National Pet Day, National Banana <laughs> Bread Day, National uh, Tortilla Day, I mean, it was like hilarious. Anyway, we're gonna focus <laughs> this month on profiles, profiling, and how you use profiling in your recruitment, your retention, and your development to have the most engaged and happy, productive teams. So as I was mentioning, we use profiling tools in the recruitment, the retention, and the development, training and development pathways for team members, both in our firm and with our clients. I'm gonna tell you what the profiles are that we use, and then with each subsequent video, I'm gonna go into greater depth with them, um, how to use them, why they're important. So we use here the DISC profile, which is behavioral. The behavioral profile tells you how to be most effective in your communication with others, how to understand what profile they have, how to sell to them, how to influence them, how to be effective with them, and also what is your predominant style. And we're not looking for people to go, oh, that's me, take it or leave it. No, it's like, who do I need to be in this moment to be effective in my communication with these people that I'm talking to? The next one we use is the Workplace Motivator. The Workplace Motivator is an assessment of the seven different ways that people are motivated in the workplace. Everyone thinks it's money, it's not. Some people think, oh, it's recognition. It's not that either. There are seven different ones. And if you know what's motivating this team member, you can be specific in your reward with them and appropriate to them when you understand what's motivating them in the workplace. The next one is the Gallup Strength Finder. I love the Strength Finder. I just think it's one of the most um, valuable assessments, even though it's probably one of the lesser in terms of dollars and cents investments, because it's about your natural talents, the natural talents that you were born with. And if you develop capacities inside of those natural talents, that's where your genius lives. People tend to be seduced by trying to get better at what they're not very good at. However, the return on that is somewhere between 10 and 15%, no matter how much time, attention, energy, and money you invest. When you invest in a natural talent, on the other hand, you have unlimited capacity to develop it, as I said, into genius. The next one is wealth and talent dynamics. These are the ways that people most naturally add value to an organization and the way that they will most naturally develop their talents and then ultimately their wealth. There are eight different profiles and when you know the profile that's best suited for a particular role in your company, then you go out and you seek someone that's got that profile. Uh, that's a very, very important thing. And then just knowing how are you gonna be personally in your flow? Because when our, we're in our flow, it's easy. When we're out of our flow, it's struggle and strife. And the last one is how to fascinate. This is Sally Hoghead's uh, profile. And that profile is how do other people see you? What is it about you that attracts and magnetizes people to you? And then develop your own personal brand around that. You can also get that profile for your company. So those are the profiles we're gonna be talking about and we'll go into much greater depth in them over the next uh, several videos, uh, each one. And then at the end, we'll wrap it up in the, how do they all dance together? All right, that's it for today. If you got value from this, please like it, share it, subscribe, and feel free to reach out to find out more about how you can engage your team through profiling them, getting the best from them, the happiness that comes from them working to their natural talents and strengths, and how do you create a constellation on the team uh, to be able to deliver every aspect of what needs to happen in the company and to recruit for that. Bye for now.